Our next criterion has the rather long-winded name of the Independence of Irrelevant Alternatives criterion. And basically what's happening here is that if we have a, uh, a non-winner in the election and that non-winner is removed, then we don't want that to affect the outcome of the election. So formally stated, if candidate X wins an election and some non-winners are removed from the ballot, then the recount should show that X is still the winner. Well, and this is desirable for a number of reasons. For example, uh, it may turn out after the election that one candidate was ineligible for office and therefore should never have been on the ballot in the first place. So if that candidate is removed, then we still want X to be the winner. It is possible, however, under the plurality method, that this criterion would not be satisfied. Okay, so let's see an example of that. We have a 20-member panel that will decide on a method to finance a new sports arena. Okay, and the options are a new tax on hotel rooms, an increased tax on alcohol, and an increased tax on gasoline. Okay, and the preference table is as follows. Okay, so we have A with eight first preference votes, H and G with six each. So according to this preference table, then the uh, increased tax on alcohol would be chosen. But now let's say that the uh, hotel lobby uh, succeeds in removing H as an option. If we remove that option from the list, then what happens to these six votes here? Well, these voters here prefer G if they can't have H. So that means that G will move up in the preference table and then we will have eight votes for A and 12 votes for G and so we have a different winner.